the fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins, go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some uh, plays for you guys today. I got you a full scheme out of one of my favorite offenses in the entire game and one of my favorite playbooks in the entire game. That's the 49ers offense. And I'm going to be breaking down for you guys the gun split close. Now, this is uh, something that I put out previously. I've mentioned it in some of my gameplay videos of how it's one of my go-to offenses. So I'm going to give you guys a full breakdown. This video today uh, was previously on just my Patreon and just my... Uh, the full edition anyway was just on my patreon and just on my join now community uh every once in a while i like to try to bring you guys uh a full version of full scheme breakdown on my youtube so hit the like button let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see me continue to do this and bring these full schemes uh, other than that like i said it's my go-to offense so let's go ahead and let's get started with uh, the first play starting off let's go ahead and let's set up our audibles uh my number one play that i use the most is like a dink and dunk play is definitely the paf slide but there's explosive capabilities there that's already going to be in my audibles the halfback close wheels are in there as well that one's all obviously always one of the most popular plays i don't know i'm, I'm surprised ea never nerfed that i'm going to make that even more explosive today though uh and then i would say that my two favorite plays after that would definitely be the power o and uh, the last play would be the fullback inside. Now, before I get into this video, as always, I just want to say this video is brought to you by my sponsor, my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up like mine, I currently have like a 93 offense, 94 defense. Uh, check them out. Link in the description below. Use discount code MONEYSHOT uh, for 5% off your order. They already have the cheapest coins in the market as it is anyway, but you can get 5% off more if you use that discount code. So let's go and let's get into these reads. Uh, there's really only two run plays, and it's really only two that you need. It's a fantastic running formation i don't know if this defensive front i'm looking at really lends to either but it definitely would be best if they're packing the box to try to go outside of that and that would be with the power O. so this is definitely going to be your best option uh, as far as a run play is concerned and i really made a poor read there there was a hole right up the middle but i tried to take it outside because i kind of pre-diagnosed it but that's fine to me the best run play is definitely the fullback inside i like this play the most i just find that this gets the best blocking and I'm not really making the best read so far. My favorite run is definitely going to be the fullback inside. But you can see how both these runs are really going to go uh, in opposite directions here. Like I said, that's that's definitely... Um, you can, this is one of the, in my opinion, this is one of the most explosive run plays in the game, one of the explosive run formations. There are also uh, formations like this that have a... Uh, quarterback option like a shovel a shovel play i love that play too but that's not in this particular playbook but those would be you know these are definitely two of the better running plays they, those particular formations that have that third play the quarterback running play they don't they don't actually have uh the pass plays that this one has so like i said without a doubt my favorite play out of this is going to be running it weak side to the fullback uh to the fullback position you can see i mean sometimes the lanes are just a little bit tight uh but you can see if i could pick my way through these i would definitely have some really explosive run plays and i'm getting very consistent production regardless so like i said that's definitely my favorite play but you can also go to the power side uh the power side probably be better uh against like you know zone coverages so as you can see right here if you have man coverage there's gonna be more defenders on the side that has two receivers but you can see how you have success if you go against if you go against zone coverages so i would say that'd be one of the easier ways to read it against man coverage you can go to the fullback side against zone coverage you can go to the running back side but to be honest with you you're gonna have success either way because like i said this is one of the best running formations in the game i i just think they're so explosive either way you go so like i said right here i mean we also just want to read like if they have a blitzer in the box like right here they have a blitzer coming right towards uh where the fullback inside would go so i would definitely want to take this the opposite way so you can see i mean if the blocks are, i mean i'm not i'm not even really running this this great and i'm still having explosive results i'm not even really reading my blocks well or anything like that as you can see like there i probably should have took away outside so here's another look like i said zone coverages i don't really think there is like this this should work against either zone coverage but sometimes you have to go around those those stack boxes so like i said i mean this formation if you have two good running backs and my my current system i went out and got reggie bush i got Ladanian tomlinson already and now i had to get reggie bush because when i run a, when you run a system like this you really need two good running backs a lot like san francisco has they have a lot of speed uh, which makes a defense, an offense like this really hard to stop when it comes to the run plays so as far as the passing plays go i'm going to actually set up specific uh defenses for the close halfback wheel 
But the PAF slide, um, this is a play you can run against just about anything. I find that whether it's man or zone, these running backs do a really good job. You can see right there, the flats, I mean, especially with the speed that we have here on the Niners, the flats are going to be open for a lot of really easy catch and runs. So I'm going to go ahead. I, I will swap out here real quick so I don't have to keep doing the uh, the adjustments. But you can see these these zones, just they just play off way too much. And you can just dink and dunk all day and get 10 yards plus every time. Now against cover three, you can have a one play touchdown with this particular play. If you motion across the A route, streak the X route and streak the B route. Also like to put the RB route on a, uh, a wheel route. Um, although that's probably, you know, that's that's at your discretion. But the rest of the setup you really need to do. And then you can see how you really can get right up the seam there. Uh, just as long, it really depends on the, the, the zone chuck that you get. Uh, whether you get chucked inside or outside. This guy right here, if he gets chucked too, if he gets an inside release, he's good. But if he gets chucked outside, a lot of times this cornerback will pick him up. You can also motion across the B route. And if you put the X route on a fade, um, this will, you know, that B route's going to hesitate that uh, that cornerback just a little bit. And then you can see how you can get that that release right over the top of that. So there's a couple different things you can do. I don't know if I have the speed necessary to get going on a play like this. But there's a couple different things you can do. So that's pretty much the, the bottom line. Like I said, I'm still I'm still using this mostly for the running backs though. So right here, get that zone chuck. That's really going to be the decider. And then, like I said, if you can really get this ball up, you can make some big plays. But, you know, like I said, I mean, you want somebody a little bit faster doing this. And at the end of the day, I mean, like I said, I'm really just, to set up some of the other plays, a lot of times I just motion this guy out because some of the other plays are going to have that same motion. And then I'm just kind of going with the running backs. The B coming across is a little bit delayed. It's a good check down. This is one of my favorite goal line plays, too, by the way. I use this goal line all the time. I'll, motion, I'll move the ball up. Um, not necessarily goal line, but anything inside of the five. This is one of my favorite plays to go to because a lot of people really play hard flats. I run this goal line a lot because the A route on the back, once he hits that back pylon, he just basically, it just, I don't know, it just works out really good. I've used this a million times in goal line plays and my game plays. Uh, you're going to see this in gameplay more often as well, considering how much I use it. Now, the close halfback wheel, in my opinion, is an even better cover three play. You can do this a couple different ways, too. You can just streak the B route, put the A route on a smart route. Uh, I like to motion out the running back, get him to the line. He'll pull coverage. You can also streak the X route. A couple different things you can do. Uh, and then this is going to have a lot of success to that B route. As you can see, he just gets right through the scene. Didn't quite have the speed to get going there. Raiders are doing a pretty good job on that. So, I mean, if you want to do it, you can do it that way based on the fact that I don't necessarily want to move the, uh, the safety across. You can move this guy across and try to get the safety over there's a couple of different ways that you can really try to play with that safety pre-snap because you really want that separation to make that play as i'm not quite getting going i'm a yard short there we'll call that a touchdown in gameplay i've actually moved this guy out quite a bit um you know but you can see like i said the safety here uh really you know really reacts and i don't want him to react to that necessarily so here there there we, we get a little bit we made a little bit of a different adjustment there as i also streaked the running back uh which is gonna you know basically overload that side um so that's that's something you can do as well you can block this rb route uh, if you want to give yourself uh, a little bit more pass pro uh, but like i said that extra streaking uh, running back is going to basically keep that safety over that computer ai safety over a little bit as well so a couple different ways to do it if you don't want to make that motion you don't have to i find that that double streak actually actually helps though so we'll go and do that one more time like i said now we're getting a bigger separation um, but like I said, I've done that in gameplay. I, I have some cheat code receivers in my on my mud team, though. That might be why. There's also a really good man play. I like to put the uh, the X route on a smart route, and then a lot of times if you just you know you can bullet pass, uh, low pass, um, you're gonna have a really easy play because he pretty much has an inside release uh, based off of the fact that um, you know it's just you know you, you, when you have the inside release you're going to win against cover two that's basically the idea against man cover one like i said the a route's going to be a good route smart route him and then you can see he's just getting outside uh easily very easily man cover one's not necessarily as good as man cover two i don't know what it is about this uh, animation but you can see i mean he's really getting outside here uh and then you can see i mean this is not something you typically get in man coverage but if you smart route it it becomes kind of a glitchy route and i've shown this in other videos I showed this in another video using Michael Thomas and the people in the comment section were like, well, that's because it's Michael Thomas. This is not Michael Thomas. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is some some random dude I, I, I barely even heard of. 
maybe had one good game with the Niners, but you can see, I mean, he's definitely, I'm pass leading up a little bit. I mean, I don't have that speed advantage that I would like, but you can see I can pass lead up and get a big play. Or, I mean, it's, it's better to pass lead up against cover one because like I could bullet it but I don't really care for bullet passing against man coverage it's not always the best look and then you can see I mean, we're just having a lot of success to that side there's a lot of good man cover one concepts here like the wheel route by motion him to the line uh, this doesn't work on a lot of backs but uh, if you have a guy like Mostert I mean you can definitely out sprint your defender and make a big play like I said man coverage is a little bit tight though the next play I would like to use is the Z spot we're going to pick that it's another good cover one man play Uh, this play here, I like to isolate this guy as much as possible. Put the B route on a streak. You can put the X route here on a smart route uh, to shorten his uh, his release. And then you can see, I mean, it really depends on what happens with the with the quarterback. He really didn't get toasted too much there, but that was still good enough. You don't have to motion him out, but if you leave him in, there's a better chance that the safety can react to him. The streak is going to pull that cover one safety across, and that's kind of the game plan here. There you can see, like I said, he didn't quite get that beat. He didn't quite beat that. So it really depends on what you got there uh, when he comes out of the break. Um, does he... Um, does he basically you have to watch the cornerback if, if he doesn't quite get the reaction of the cornerback like right there He turns him around. That's perfect. You're not always gonna get that look, but that's that's definitely what the look that you want uh, But it's it can be spotty. You got to watch that. You can't just throw it up expecting to get it every time Go and do this one more time So you can streak both of these routes if you really think you're just going for that You can streak them both there you can see recovered a little bit better But it's still good enough and if I switch over fast enough hit that sprint button hit the gas and rack catch i should still be able to beat that cornerback or at least play defender like the one play there was picked off but i can still kind of get in that uh, like right there He's, he didn't get turned around too much but I, I still trust that i can get that done and like i said if you got an absolute speed monster it, it, you can probably win those nine times out of ten regardless another good play is the scat now this is a cover two play Go and pick cover two or Tampa two. This player here, all you gotta do is put the X route on a drag, put the A route on a streak, and motion out the B route. The B route here is gonna be the play. I'll block the running back, or you can block both the running backs really, because you have something drag pulling the cornerback down, which is all you really need. And then this B route here will get open outside of the safety and the, and the receiver, just as long as you make the throw at the right time. So we'll go and we'll do that again. I mean, you don't have to, like, I can leave the running back uh, in a little bit of a pattern there, which I'll do. But you can see it's really all about, I mean, I'm not going to get a touchdown out of this, but I, as long as I bullet pass lead outside and, and safe catch at the boundary, I'm going to get a big play. And if you run this to the open side of the field, you might be able to get a catch and run out of this. But you got to really watch one time to throw to that cornerback. You see right there, his hips are flipped. At this point, he's running with him. You can't throw it here. The second he starts to fade and turn around, that's when you can make that throw. You can see, like, once he gets here, once he's even in between, if he's not fully accelerated, I'm going to beat that. So at that point, you can see I'm already throwing the ball all the way back there the second that he, he hesitates and drops. You see right there, I'm already in my throwing animation, even though he's right in his pocket, because I know that it's not really going to matter based on the fact that he's turning around, and, and that's pretty much game over. Another good play is the slot curl. Now, this is a man-beating play, so we'll just pick, uh, we'll just pick a man cover, too. So let's move this ball back to the center here. <clears throat> this route that Samuel's running is a really good man beating route. That's something. It doesn't have a lot of effectiveness. It used to work really good against zones. It doesn't anymore. Now it's just a straight man beater, uh, which is good because a lot of people run man. I run this a lot in my gameplays as well. You can see it's just something that'll break at 10 yards. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's not something. If somebody's running like a man zero blitz or something like that, you make this one guy miss, you're gone there. I might have threw it a little bit early. It's really a timing pattern, but you can see it still beat the coverage even with an early throw which is something that not a lot of people know. So right here, like I said, I throw it in the break. You can throw it after the break. It's just, it's pretty much pitch and catch. It's a really easy route, a really easy read, uh, and it beats man coverages really easily. Another good play is the doubles in. Well, we'll pick that, or double in, whatever. Uh, then we'll go, we'll pick uh, cover three. This is another good cover three play. So this play here, all you gotta do is block the running back. Put the, uh, the B route here on an out route, the smart route, and then motion them out, and that's pretty much all you got to do. The X route's going to do the rest of the work, just as long as the uh, pass pro holds up. Uh, as you can see, i got to throw that on the run a little bit, but we have a one-play touchdown. That was just kind of messed up a little bit by the pressure, uh, which, you know, that'll happen. I mean, I'm going against one of the better defensive fronts in the game. 
So let's go. Let's do that one more time. We got a pretty decent check down with the A route too. You can do whatever you want with him. You can put him on a drag, whatever. And like I said, I mean, this is you know, timing's the worst part of this. Is I, I should have been had two touchdowns here, but like I said, this pass rush is getting home a little bit. So you know, that's pretty much the the hardest thing here. You, you can leave the one running back as a check down if you just want to take that rather than hold it. You can see I mean, he's going to be open in the flat. Um, so you know, you could leave that. And at the very least, I mean, you could double team the edges and stuff like that. I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do um, to try to to try to give yourself as much time as possible. But you can see, I mean, this is definitely an easy one play touchdown. I don't even know why I slowed down there, but that I'm going to call that three one play touchdowns because they all should have scored, in my opinion. Against cover four, if you motion this guy out, and then you can either drag the B or put him on a, a smoke, just kind of pull coverage down, block the running backs one more time. Like I said, I could go through the 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 painstaking. Um, you know the pass protection and try to like double team uh, some of these some of these edge defenders you know what I mean with the running backs because the running backs aren't doing a very good job blocking otherwise um, but ultimately the the X route here is going to get past the cover four as well as you can see it's a one play touchdown right up the uh, right between the, the two safeties I'll go ahead now go to the instant replay like I said protection is really gonna be the most important part but basically once you get inside of this safety here because the way these defenses are, they kind of split the field in half. Cover four is really split the field in half. These guys coming on short routes here are going to are going to depress these two safeties, which are or these two deep deep coverage uh, zones, and these two are going to drop back because they're following this guy. But the second he crosses this one, you can pretty much make that throw at any point, just as long as you bullet and pass lead away from the safety that's in front of him. And then you can see these guys are completely out of position. They're facing the wrong way. They can't turn and accelerate. It just doesn't work out that way. And if you go back to me, like I said, I'm already winding up. As you can see, the second the second he crosses that safety, I'm winding up. We know we're we know we're golden. So boom, pass lead. I'm, I'm bullet pass leading away, and it's just an easy explosive one play touchdown against cover four. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.